What is up, everybody? Welcome to Dynasty Mode. Obviously, you know it's Dynasty Mode. You clicked on the video. Okay, so uh, Derek D. Ginger King here. Um, I am still playing my other season. Um, but I, I don't know. Hmm, I might, I might not. Who knows? But right now, I'm just, I'm just in the mood to not lose. So Ginger King is actually taking over the coaching duties of the Utah Jazz. Uh, so it's kind of like a time loop here. I'm becoming Doctor Who at the moment. I've got a time machine. We're going into the past. Ginger King is two years into the future right now. But me, I'm focused right here on Dynasty Mode. I've got some notes here um, that I will probably do either in the next episode or in this episode. Uh, what we're doing is we're setting up a Dynasty Mode here. And I've done almost everything. I've, I've, I've put the roles in. Um, I've done most of the setup, and I'm just going to continue this, because this seems like something that's important that I kind of need to get. So here we go. We're at the draft lottery. We have a 0.5% chance. Uh, a 0.5, so a half of 1% chance to get the number one pick. Let's see if we can get it, right? Yeah, we got the 14th pick. Okay, <laughs> that's wonderful. Or maybe, or maybe the number one pick is uh, randomly chosen still. I don't know. I don't know how this works. This is my first time doing it, you know? I'm, I'm usually the player, not the coach. Number one pick goes to the Sacramento Kings. What a waste. Yuck. All right, well, there you have it. The lottery <laughs> the lottery pick. All right, so we have the number 14th pick. Um, okay. I'm not seeing anything else, am I? No? Okay. All right, so we've done the draft lottery. Now, the NBA champions are the Dallas Mavericks. However, these are the things that I wrote down. We got the MVP from last season, LeBron James. The sixth man. LeBron James. Don't know how that works, but I guess it does. Um, defend, because the sixth man, it, correct me if I'm wrong, is the bench guy. The best bench guy, right? That's what I thought. Anywho, defensive player of the year, Dwight Howard, and coach of the year, Eric Spolstra. So, the Dallas Mavericks have won. I don't think we need to do this. We can watch the White House visit. Really? Let's watch it. Okay, sure. Why the hell not? Let's go ahead and watch it. See those snipers up on the top of that place? Yeah, there's the Dallas Mavericks. Creepy looking bunch of people, man. Good Jesus. Look at him in the background. Evil Jim Carrey about to assassinate Obama. Good God. Look at Dirk Nowitzki up there. What is he doing? Obama's like, These people who are uh, in my uh, oh, uh, foyer. Uh, need to uh, get the hell up out of my White House. I don't know who uh, they are. That's the best Obama I got, but there you go. Obama always with the champions. So it tells you that the President of the United States is a flip-flopper. If I was President and the Dallas Mavericks won... Yeah, we're done with this. Um, if the Dallas Mavericks won... Uh, that'd be really ridiculous. Yeah, let's advance past it. I, that was stupid. During the staff signing period... You will be signing staff to your team for the upcoming season. Each position must be filled before advancing. Okay, so we got Ty Corbin. You know what? He's cheap. Let's keep him um, because I'm basically going to be the coach of this. So Tyrone Corbin is just going to kind of be my be my guy. Okay, we got Scott Layden who is good. God, he looks dead in that picture. Um, <laughs> it looks like he's got Botox and they've just he's a dead guy. They've just kind of made him smile. Weird. Um, we're keeping Scott Layden. Uh, he's not too expensive. Sean Smith, uh, let's see. We'll keep these guys. We'll get prospect house. We'll get one more guy here. I don't think, oh, well, we need all of them, right? Well, let's go for a, how much money do we have? Uh, 4.6 million. Um, can we go for Romero? Let's go for Albert Romero for three years, right? How about that Romero? You like that? And we'll hire a new guy, and we'll hire a super cheap guy, Robert Hall, for one year. We'll we'll check that guy out. We'll see if he can do it. Gary Briggs. Oh, my God. This guy's amazing. This guy is awesome. He's our trainer. He is Johnny on the spot. Whenever you need something, he's there. He's like Mike uh, Mike from uh, Breaking Bad, even though he died last season. Ooh, spoilers. Um, okay. Staff total, 6.7. Budget available, 3.65. I think we're good. So we've got all the, all the people. Yes. 
The result in computer, yeah, so we don't need the computer to do it for us because we've already done that. Team player options. During the team slash player options period, you must decide which team options you want to accept and which you want to decline. Marvin Williams, player. Accept it. What does that mean? What does this mean? Yeah, he's adequate for now. Well, he's a starter, so you know what? The, you're going to have to be adequate. He wants to resign with the team. Okay, okay. Let's look at some of this guy's stats here. I don't. I didn't really watch a whole lot of the Utah uh, season this season, so... Um, wow, he didn't do great, did he? Minutes per game, 23. Ugh. Not good. Not good at all. About half the game he played. Um, let's see, attributes, don't care, skill graphs, okay, tendencies, uh, award history, so an all-time rookie, so he's only in this, wow, ninth year, Jesus, game highs, 10, so he had 33 points, 20, attempted 13, or er, 20 and 13, steals 4, blocks, blah, 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 none of this is really important, these are kind of silly, his highest ever minutes in a game was 51, okay, Morale. Williams feels... Oh, right, we're back We're back to the spot. Okay, well, I think he's fine. Yeah, so what's the deal here? The screen displays the results of every player in the league who had either a team or player options. Players who have declined option are now unrestricted. Oh, I see. So, you, so he has a choice to either stay with the team or go to free agency. And he accepted to stay with the team. Um, Igudala declined... J.R. Smith declined. Vince Carter declined. Ishmael Smith declined. Lopez Mills declined. Um, Meta World Peace declines. See, how many years has he been in the year? Yeah, quite a while. Villanueva declined. Garcia. Francisco Garcia from the, the Kings from a, like, a couple years back. Let's see. Marvin Williams accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Declined. Cunningham declined. Um, maybe I could... Oh, I can't. Okay. Um, let's see here. Beardrins. Isn't he a three-point specialist? He's 27. Latvia. I don't think he's very good. Yeah, I don't think he's that great. I'm just trying to see some people that I can sign and then get rid of maybe uh, the people on my team who don't want to be on my team. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Yeah, see, qualifying offers. During the qualifying offer period, you'll be offering your restricted free agents qualifying offers. Doing this allows you to match any offer sheets they sign during free agency. Okay, so we have Millsap to deal with here. Now, Millsap is actually being kind of a, an asshole at this point. We don't have a uh, qualifying offer extended. Not offer. Okay, so we want to give him one year for $9.2 Hopefully he does that, you know. My free agents. During the my free agents period, you can make contract offers to your own free agents. If they like the offer enough, they will accept before day one of free agency. Okay, so these are the people we obviously want. Wait, they're all free agents? All of these guys? Oh, okay, well... Okay, um... Status expired. Yeah, these are all free agents. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, he is kind of in the middle of interest. I don't know what that thing means. I don't know what that means. Um, years. For five years. I really don't want this guy for five years. He is a pretty good player. I'll go three years for 39 million. Um, option. Team, no. So he's not interested in a three-year deal. Five. So he doesn't... Why wouldn't he be interested in that? Okay, three. All right, we'll give him a four-year deal. We'll give him a trade up. Well, we can trade him. Yeah, yeah. I do kind of want, you know, if if he gets super injured, I, I want to trade him out. And that doesn't affect him. If I put him into a starter, I'll, he'll be the star for now. I don't see why that's too unreasonable. Let's go ahead and do that. That's not that's not really un uneven. Test free agency is what he's doing. Millsap, you're an asshole. Mo Williams. Um, Mo Williams, he's anxious. Let's see, what else about this guy? Um, I don't know if we can... Can we offer this stuff? Mo Williams, he's pretty good, but he's one of my benchies that I'm putting on the bench. 
but it could be worse. Yeah, see, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. When we win games, he'll be fine. So, let's go here. Let's give him a... Oh, whoops, sorry about that. My mistake. Let's give him that. Trade option, yes. What does no trade mean? No trade clause, only available if player has eight or more years pro. Oh, I see. Okay, so... We don't want to trade the youngins, and he's pretty old, so let's keep him accessible option. Yeah, we're good there. So we offered him Randy Foy, 29. I don't think he's that bad of a player, and he really wants to stay. We'll offer him that. Watson. I don't really like this guy, but he does want to be a player on the team, so let's just do one year for him. Uh, Demario Carroll, this guy. Yeah, I want you. I want you, pal. Oh, he doesn't want to be here for two years. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually like you, Damari Carroll, and I want you on the bench. And I think you'd be good there. I kind of want to pay him a little more. Mm, prove it. Prove it first. 700000 for you. Okay, so I think we've done it, right? Offered, offered, offered. We've offered them all, and he's testing free agency. What a jackass. Alright, well, whatever. So be it. Pre-draft workouts. Alright, the pre-draft workout period is your chance to bring in the draft prospects for some in-person evaluations. You only have so many workouts, so schedule them wisely. Okay. NBA Draft. Oh dear, here we go. We've got round 1, pick 14, and round 2, pick 16. And here we go. Let's see. Let's go to the draft, ladies and gentlemen. Do 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 do. Oh, God. Didn't this guy retire? Can't he get out of here yet? Next. I want to hear you. I don't want to hear him talk. For the love of God. I did actually download from the 2K share the top most downloaded thing. So let's see. We got Lorenzo Brown here. Draft stock. Top five. He wasn't scouted at all. This guy's pretty good offensively, okay defensively, terrible reboundedly. He's a point guard. Um, let's see. Overall, he's got A. Post defense, D, IQ, C. Not seeing too much there. Okay. All right. And then we've got round two, number 16, right? No, no, no. no. It wouldn't be 16, would it? They've got that funny thing there. Jeffrey Poole. Okay, second round, uh, overall a D. Good God, bad defense. I don't think we're signing this kid. I don't think we're signing that kid. Um, hit the weights, take a shower, get a clue, pal. You ain't getting signed if you ain't good. We're good to go. All right, rookie signing. I do not want to accept him. Next. <laughs> that was simple. Um, free agency. This is kind of mean. During the free agency period, you'll be signing players to fill out your team. So we lost Millsap. We need someone around Millsap's uh, teams over the salary cap can still sign players using their mid-level exception. Okay. Welcome to the recap screen. Here you will be able to view which players have accepted your offers in addition to the status of any outstanding offers you may have when a player accepts your offer. You will need to confirm their signing. Ah, okay. So these guys said Whoa, what that mean? What does that mean? NTC, what does that mean? Accepted offers. Pending offers. Jefferson and Damari Carroll. Um, I think I think Damari Carroll will sign. So let's let's go ahead and sign him. Right, well, okay, I want let's see, we got I don't want Dwight Howard, I don't want Paul. I can't really afford these people. Maybe we can bring in Igudala, so let's offer him a contract. Right? For four years. I think that's perfect. What about our salary cap? Um, let's see. Team cap. Uh, is that... I don't know what those numbers mean. I don't want to really give him a trade option. He's, he's a hell of a player. What if we give him three? He wouldn't want to do it. Okay, four years? Let's go ahead and offer him the contract. Um, okay, so we've offered him a contract. I don't want um, Millsap anymore because he's being an asshole. Um, let's see, who should we pick up? Who should we pick up? The bad man, Pekovic. We don't need him. We need another small forward or something. Vince Carter. He's too old. Too old, too old. Um, Devin Harris. Can I um, position 
No, I can't go by I can't go by position. Devin Harris, we don't need point guard. Point guard is it, oh okay power forward. Dewan Blair from what the, the Spurs. Blatch, nah. Bubois, Williams, Stephen Jackson, Action Jackson. He's too old. Corey Brewer. He used to be a Jazz man. Maybe we should try to bring him back. Let's try to bring him back. Did I just screw that up? I think I did. Um, Damari Carroll um, accepts. Awesome. Sweet. Day 2 of 13. I actually wanted to go down here to... Um, Corey Brewer. That's Ronnie Brewer. Oh, maybe maybe we had Ronnie Brewer. Oops. Oops. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and offer it. Offer it to him. Um, let's go ahead and offer... I think that's it. And Dwight Howard. Yuck. Did I... Oh, no. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Cap space. 23 million. I don't... I don't have... Oh, no. Um... I don't think I have enough for you. Oh, yeah, I do. I have enough for Dwight Howard, but do I want Dwight Howard? Oh, my God. He's gonna, like, ruin something. Didn't... Didn't he accept my thing? <laughs> He didn't accept it. Oh, so we don't have enough money for him. I think I'm done. I think I'm done, and we'll let them just deal with that, and hopefully it all works out fine. <laughs> training camps. During training camp, you can spend your reward points by sending individuals to camps. Okay, big man offense. Um, actually, let's see. Big man offense. Not enough points. Oh, how many points do we have? We only have 10 points. Just so we don't have enough at all, so that's kind of stupid. Yeah, we only have 10 points. Um, let's advance, and here we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, the association allows you the ability to fully customize the draft class. We want to download the draft class. Yeah, those pals. We want them. Thought I already did that, but then it, it restarted, so that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out our team here after it saves. The new look jazz, the new man in charge, Mr. GM, Mr. Ginger King, GM Ginger King now. It used to be um, Mr. MVP Ginger King. Uh, it used to be Mr. Champion Ginger King, and now it's coach and general manager Ginger King. All right, so let's see here. We need to go to roster. Right, so we have Dwight Howard on the Utah Jazz. Oh man, I hope we win a championship. We have Millsap. So we don't have Jefferson? Is that what I'm understanding here? No Jefferson. Okay, let's actually go to situationals and... and uh, right, scouting, staff, roster. Oh, here we go. Is it down here? I might have to do some more stuff offline here. Um... Game plan, is it in there? Yes, rotation. Sweet. Okay, so I think... Um, let's see here. No, that doesn't show me anything. Okay, starters, here we go. Cantor is the starter over Dwight Howard. How does that work? Posi he's in the 12th position? Are you shitting me? Nuh-uh, uh-uh. Howard goes over Cantor. I'm sorry. That's just how that goes. Yeah, swap that. Swap that nonsense. Why is Dwight Howard getting no minutes? That's just silly. Burks, Hayward, Favors, Williams. I like that. The point guard is Burke. Okay. And then... The bench would be Jeremy Evans, Cantor, Williams, Burke. Okay. Um, for the bench, I, I like keeping... I, I want... Let's give... Hayward is actually a, a veteran. So let's give... We need a new point guard for this. Let's give Lorenzo Brown control over the point... Oh, well, yeah, actually. Oops. Oops! Um, let's see. So we need a new... Let's see, Favors, Cantor, Jeremy Evans, Marvin Williams, Lorenzo Brown, Burke, Howard... Oh, there, we, there they are. There they are. Mo Williams. Mo Williams needs to be where Burks is. And that's how we'll do that. We'll we'll get a whole bunch, and we'll keep uh, Marvin Williams and Cantor in as the bigs. I like that for the for the bench, for the tall. That's fine for the quick, whatever. For the defense, how is this not? Maybe this was just generic stuff for the tall. 
Um, let's go Hayward is pretty small, right? Favors is tall. Burke is definitely not tall, but neither is his counter counterparts. Um, Williams, Cantor, for tall, I think you have to go out count Cantor and in Howard. Um, and you have to also go out Hayward and in Foy, maybe? Let's see how tall this guy is. 6'4", and Hayward is 6'8", so ooh, okay, we'll keep him in there. For quick, I'd rather Cantor than Hayward. Or, I mean, uh, uh, Howard for Cantor. Williams needs to go out in that situation. For Damara Carroll, absolutely. Foy for... Let's see here. Earl Watson for Burke, because I, I want to keep Burke fresh. And we'll, that'll get Earl Watson some game, game time. And favors for Jeremy Evans is fast. And he's the only guy, so Jeremy Evans. So let's do that. Quick defense. Right, again, defensive player of the year, pal. So you're out. Marvin Williams, good rebounding. Um, Burks is more offense. So let's get Burks out and put in Damari Carroll. That works. That does work. He is a pretty RA point guard. Um, shoot. Hayward's good at defense. We'll keep him in there. And Favors is a good blocker. We'll keep him in as well. I like that. Three point specialist. Um, so do we have any other centers? We don't. Okay, good. Um, let's get him Foy for uh, Hayward. Carroll, I think, is actually a three-point specialist, but Earl Watson is as well. So there's that, there's that. Marvin Williams, definitely not. For Jeremy Evans, no. Brown, maybe. I don't know about this guy. What about his, his three-point range? Yeah, I, I figured this would go about 25 minutes if I had to do all this stuff. Three-point, not so good. Um, Mo Williams... Can't really switch him unless we put favors. Yeah, so let's do that. Mo Williams with Marvin Williams. We'll switch them and then we'll switch him in favors. And Cantor doesn't really matter. Free throw. I, well, we'll all be fine on free throws. And starter. Okay, so we got the situationals all lined up. Wonderful. I'll set up some practices every four days or so. Let's go ahead and look at the calendar here. Who do we got? We got the Brooklyn Nets first. The Brooklyn Nets will be the first to fall to the new look Utah Jazz. The setup is complete. Derek D. Ginger King, the new general manager of the Utah Jazz, and I will be going over the next four teams for the 2013-2014 NBA season in real life. And um, not a whole lot of surprises here. And I'm actually going to be coaching this game, and I've put it at six minutes for each game. I might lower that down to five minutes each. So I might do that now. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Go ahead, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do what you have to do. And uh, we'll see you for the next game. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like again, because that's extremely important, especially on the first video. Um, so let me know how you like it. Let me know how you like Dwight Howard moving to the Jazz. I'm making moves. I'm going to win us a championship this year. I'm going to do what the mailman and Mr. Stockton couldn't do. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek D. Ginger King, checking out.